This video is sponsored by the GD Plus 4. It's a new year, and for most of us, that comes with the promise to eat healthier, exercise, drink less, and create better spending habits. It's what we do, right? Nothing wrong with that. I myself have a few of those plans. But I'm not here today to talk about New Year, New Me, a phrase I despise as much as eating warm kale. Gross! No, I'm here to talk about New Year resolutions I fully intend to commit to, one that I have neglected for far too long, and I think you should join me. 3D printing. I hear you laughing. I hear you saying, Brian, that's not a New Year's resolution. Well, I beg to differ with you. I think learning 3D printing might be one of the best resolutions you can have this year. You see, makers like you and I, we need to constantly hone our craft. We need to expand our skills, work with a variety of materials, and learn new tools. That's exactly what 3D printing is doing for me. Also, it's helping me with a few other resolutions I've made this year. Take, for example, organization. I would be willing to bet that being more organized is on your 2025 list, isn't it? Maybe you slid that one in there between losing weight and drinking less, but it's still on your list. Well, what if I told you 3D printing could help you with that? Now, I'm fairly new to this aspect of the hobby, so you'll have to forgive me for being late to the party, but I recently discovered Gridfinity. If you, like me, are unfamiliar, it's a modular storage system created by another YouTuber named Zach Friedman. I've linked the original release video in the channel notes below, and I think you'll get a kick out of him and his presentation style for sure. This simple grid system allows you the flexibility and ease to absolutely get organized. It's broken down into 42 millimeter by 42 millimeter squares, and then you can configure the grids in multiple ways for whatever need you have of them. Then you have the ability to create just about any type of storage vessel you could possibly imagine. This here is a simple bin. It's designed with a tab for a label, and it fits perfectly within the grid system. You see, I previously had a drawer filled with these things. These various boxes and containers that bolts and other hardware come in. None of them are the same size, and storing them becomes a miserable Tetris experience without the joy of actually playing Tetris. Enter the Gridfinity system and bam! All your hardware is conveniently stored, well-labeled, easily retrievable, and I can now check this drawer organization resolution out of my long, complicated list. This is just the beginning too, by the way. The Gridfinity community has embraced this storage system so well that there are literally thousands of storage solutions for nearly anything you could want to store. And the beauty here, you can use your newly acquired 3D printer skills to make the storage solution resolution at home. I've had the pleasure of using the new Chidi Plus 4, which was kindly provided to us by the team at Chidi and is the sponsor of this video. One of my biggest fears with 3D printing, specifically with filament printing, has been the fact that I don't wanna get into this hobby and feel the need that I have to tinker with my printer. I had seen for years how makers who use 3D printers have had constantly needed to work on their machines to get them to work correctly. I'm more interested in getting the item I want printed than becoming a mechanic for my printer. This GD Plus 4 has so far been a dream. Within 15 minutes of having it out of the box, I was printing. For someone as impatient as me, this was exactly what I'd hoped for. I've been running this machine pretty much nonstop since we received it. The printer's overall build quality is impressive. The LCD display and control is very easy to understand and use. The magnetic build plate is fantastic. And I absolutely love the automatic nozzle cleaning aspect of this machine. We have an upcoming project where I'm gonna do a deep dive on this machine within the next couple of weeks and break it down more. Having said that though, my experience thus far with the printer has been excellent. Okay, getting back to resolutions. What if one of your new year new... <coughs> See, I can't even use that phrase. What if one of your new goals has nothing to do with storage? You don't wanna eat better and exercise is about as appealing to you as taking up a career as a telemarketer selling urinal cakes. Maybe your goal is to build an amazing hologram prop. Maybe like the one I'm building that my friend Thomas designed that you might get to see next week. Guess what? Your 3D printer can help you with that. Finally, maybe you're uninterested in making a prop at all. 
but you have a fascination with toys. Toys that you like to sit in your garage and play with, but you created a YouTube channel to devote nearly every night and every weekend to building complicated projects so that you have an excuse to play with those toys but you can tell your friends that you aren't playing with those toys. You're working on a second job and it just happens to utilize toys. Sorry, I went a little bit too far there. However, what if scale model building does interest you? Maybe you could use 2025 to learn Fusion 360 and design your own models that you then print on your new Chidi Plus 4 and check that resolution off your list. 3D printing has been something I have dabbled in, but not really invested a lot of time or interest. I think I always realized the potential was there and certainly had the desire to expand my hobby. Now, however, it seems that the technology has come so far it actually appeals to me. I've printed several projects and others running right now as we speak. It's not going to replace my building methods either. I think it will actually enhance them. I'm late to the party with praying, but if any of you were looking for that little extra push to get started, I hope this little 2025 kickoff video gave you the encouragement to give it a try. I wanna give a big thanks to the team that provided us with the Chidi Plus 4, and we hope you use the links below and give that printer a look. Most of all though, we hope you find something in 2025 that excites you enough to get you back out there building something out of nothing.